In today's video, we're going to be reviewing this ring light set. It comes with a stand, the ring light, and the mount for the phone. I also think it comes with a little Bluetooth remote, but we are checking this out and testing it in the search of the perfect vlog setup for your phone. Maybe more specifically iPhone, it could be Android, but in the last video, we actually reviewed a wireless microphone for the iPhone specifically. So pretty cool. If you guys haven't seen that, I will link that as well. You guys definitely want to check out that video. But we're going to do this so that we get the perfect vlog set up if you're live streaming or you're making YouTube videos and stuff like that. This might be a good inexpensive solution for you. So I haven't opened it just yet. Let's unbox it and see what we got. All right. So this had a ton of good reviews on Amazon. So I figured I would give it a shot and it was under $30. So I figured why not. So I'm guessing that's obviously a stand. Here is the ring light. And what is in here? This is probably going to be the phone mount. So let me get this opened up and we'll see what we got. Okay, so the tripod actually comes with a nice little bag as you can see. And like I said, this thing had a ton of good reviews. So we'll get it all set up. This just looks like your standard camera mount. Kind of got your shoe mount there. And then this actually screws on to that shoe mount. So I'll get this all out of the packaging. And we got our phone mount and it's also yeah it does come with this I saw this on the ad so you can sit here in Bluetooth remote so you can take pictures and whatnot it'll hit record for you remotely okay awesome so this is one other thing I was wondering about because the ring light just has a USB on the end of it but it does come with a USB adapter for a wall outlet so here's everything here we got our USB plugged in it's got this little remote so we can adjust our ring light to different settings which we will try in just a second the remote the camera mount and one nice thing too that i looked at before purchasing this is if you're not trying to run the ring light and you just want to put that aside you can just put the phone mount on the tripod and use it like that or if you want the full setup you can obviously screw that into that so this will just screw into here so i need two hands to do this so i'm going to screw this together and that will screw onto there. So here's the whole setup. It honestly takes less than 30 seconds. You just screw this on. You don't need any tools or anything like that. You just use your fingers down here, tighten that in, and then the same thing, that you just spin this with your fingers and it screws into here. And then this, let's see, you loosen this. Oh, it actually clamps down. I thought it was one of those spring-loaded ones. So this you just spin open to your phone and then you tighten it down. So it should be a pretty solid little setup there. So we'll try it without the ring light and then we'll start messing with that. So here we go. I'm just recording with the GoPro so you can actually see the setup here. But that's how it goes. Like I said, you just tighten this or loosen this to get your phone in there. This is the iPhone 13 Pro, not the Max, but it looks like it should extend all the way up if you do have the larger one, but that kind of gives you a size idea if you're wondering. This is the just the Pro, not the Max with the larger screen. So that's that part of it. Um, I guess we can try this, let's see. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and we'll sync this. So I'm gonna go into our Bluetooth settings just make sure this thing works as well. So if we hit the switch on the side, let's hopefully see if it pops up here. And it does, it says UB size. So it's the same name as this brand. And it says it's connected. It was connected. Hopefully it stays connected. All right, it's connected now. All right, so after you pair it, you might want to turn it off, turn it back on. Now it seems to be staying connected in our settings here. So if we go over to camera, if we hit the button, it takes a picture, let's see about video. If we hit video. Okay, cool, so this can be stop and record for video or camera, which is definitely good. So let's go ahead and we'll test out the ring light function. All right, so I'm just gonna show you guys on this side. So it's a little bit darker in this corner here and we got some ambient lighting out there. And I'm just gonna record this way for a second just to show you guys with my GoPro what it looks like from this side. So you got the on off button, turn on, turned off. It comes on on full brightness. So I turn this off so you can actually see the remote because it's so bright. So it has a plus and a minus, which is for the brightness, but by default, when you turn it on, it'll turn on full brightness. And then this button here is to change the color. So you can see here. And then if we hit this, 
we got blue and we got this kind of amber goldish color so those are the three colors you've got and then you can turn down the intensity from here so just so you guys understand what's going on here so we got the blue you can turn up the intensity or white almost colorblind staring at this thing that's like the blue light i guess amber and just crisp white so that's what's going on from this side of things let's go to the phone and start recording from there so you guys can see what it looks like facing out all right so i just hit record by turning this on i didn't even have to go to the iphone actually i just turned the switch on the side and then just hit the record button it synced itself to the phone so once you pair it, it looks like it'll sync back up with the iphone which is pretty nice so here we are right now on the default setting. I should probably turn this off. So I'll use this here and we'll just turn it completely off. So this is what it looks like without anything. The camera's probably doing a bit of adjusting. This is with the selfie cam. I'll flip it around in a second too. The better camera on these uh, phones are gonna be on the back side, right? Whereas the selfie cam is just a tiny little camera. So we'll use both for a second for our test. So this is just with nothing, no lighting. This is with me pushing and turning it on. You can see I got my lapel mic wireless to the phone so it probably sounds pretty decent so this is full brightness and then if we turn this down you can see the results of the lowest setting so i'll turn it off and it looks like it stays on the lowest setting so i'm gonna go full brightness we'll change the color that's full brightness this is kind of that blue color so hopefully you can see the difference in the color and then here is the amber and i'm laughing because it's almost giving me a bit of a tan look to myself here with my white skin but and this is going all the way down so it does make a significant difference i would say at least i think if you go to like the white setting and go all the way up like that's a pretty substantial difference but let's go ahead and flip this around to the good camera on the back side and see what it looks like so here we are with the camera that's on the back side of the phone this is the iphone 13 pro so we got the light on right now let me turn it off for a second so this is with no light right now that's what it would look like if we hit the light button this is just the white color full brightness if I turn the brightness down that's at the lowest setting and then if I go all the way back up we'll try the different colors so I'm not sure it's probably making my skin tones look a little bit different here's the blue color and then here is that amber color so if it's anything like the I guess the selfie camera this is probably making my skin tones a little bit more tanned looking and then if I turn it all the way down there you go with that and then we'll go all the way up and then I'll do the same thing with the blue ish light that comes out of this thing so here's the bluish light and then if I go all the way down you can see the difference so we'll go all the way back up but that's pretty much it for this review you guys um, if there's anything else you guys want me to test comment down below what you guys think also this wireless lapel mic this whole setup cost me like just around a hundred dollars or so so this is a pretty good setup for your camera so you can turn your iphone or smartphone into like a little recording studio so this is a pretty budget setup i just wanted to do it so that when i'm out on the road normally this is my default setup for vlogging is my gopro with the mic but i wanted to see if i can improve on my brand new iphone setup to see how it would come out and this way also i can't really live stream from this obviously because just a GoPro but if I'm gonna live stream and I want a little good live stream setup I've got my phone I've got my wireless mic now I've got the stand with the ring light if I have bad lighting so this should be pretty good for doing live streams on YouTube and um, we do a lot of other stuff too so we've got like a hundred thousand subscribers on our main channel if you guys are interested I know this is just my smaller little tech uh, channel that I do reviews on to try to help you guys out but if you guys are interested check out the other channel or check out this channel uh, for more tech reviews we've got a bunch of cool tech stuff like I said the lapel mic and a bunch of other stuff as well as the vlog setup for the GoPro so if you enjoy it make sure you give it a thumbs up ask any questions down below or what else you guys want to see we'll see you guys on the next video